Welcome back to Team Smudge Racing Gaming and we're back again with some more Forza Horizon 4 and today I thought I was doing a bit of um, designing yesterday uh, in my spare time and I was wondering what would be the ultimate storm chasing vehicle. So obviously I've seen a couple of pictures of the Dominator and stuff, this is a, a new house obviously uh, on the uh, beach side so yeah I was busy 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 doing uh, some other you know building up some cars, building up money. And I thought to myself, what would be the brilliant car to do some storm chasing? So I thought the Dominator from uh, a local storm chaser you probably go, uh, guys know, boys and girls know, he's really popular. But uh, Reed Timmer, he's done, uh, he's, he's got some storm vehicles, um, aka the Dominator, uh, you know, three and four. So what I did is I made one and uh, I'll show you guys and there it is. It is the Gurkha, but unfortunately, we have made it into the Dominator 5. So this is the brand new Dominator. It's all armoured up, so if we have to do some storm chasing, we can do. Uh, we've got the TVN uh, weather uh, channel there, and we've also got the, obviously, the beautiful, beautiful logo there with the uh, nice design on there. Uh, pops very well. It quite, it does very, very nicely. Um, we've got some um, sponsors there uh, and stuff like that. Uh, Storm response team, and we've got the TVN weather all that lot logo on the back uh, with the weather tech um, logo as well. So we'll be testing this bad boy out in all terrains, so stormy weather, everything like that. So we'll have a look round. Um, so we'll just jump out the camera and we'll have a look around this bad boy. Uh, so I thought to myself, you know, what would um, Reed Timmer would actually use. So we'll have a have a look in it. Uh, we'll open all the doors up. Oh, I can't open that door for some reason. Can I open this door? No? Okay. Ah, so it's only... It is a four-door one, but we'll have a look inside it. So we'll jump in. There we go. Uh, we'll close the door. And uh, very, very nice. As you can see, we've got the uh, buttons there to tell you uh, for the air compressors and everything, if he did have, um, if we did have uh, the hydraulics in this, we probably would use it. But uh, unfortunately, the Forza Horizon doesn't have that yet. But at least it still looks more mostly realistic of what they would actually use. Uh, so we'll just jump up quickly. Yeah, uh, uh, there we go. Crack it out was a bit of a step to be fair. Shut the door. Um, can we get to the bonnet? No. Okay. I'll turn the headlights on. Ooh, very nice. Uh, the reason why I picked this vehicle is because it's armoured as well, so... And I thought, you know, Reed Timmer would actually like this if he did have a car. So let's start the engine up. And as you can tell, we have got the V8 in it, so... We are going to test... Go for a drive in this bad boy. And uh, let's see what she handles, shall we? It's got a four-wheel drive system already in the thing. Um, I tuned up the engine so it makes it more, more powerful. I had to do a bit of tuning in the engine and uh, the settings. Um, but as you can tell, absolutely brilliant design. Um, if you want me to do quite a few more designs of these type of cars, please let me know in the comment section below. But let's have a go. Whoops, already I knocked my wall in. It's a bit slow off the start, but once she starts going... It is quite quick. And already we got a bit of rain, but nothing uh, too drastic. So we're going to test it out on a road race, uh, the cross country, and then the dirt race to see how this um, the Dominator 5 would handle um, in these conditions. Uh, we've already got a road race up here, a dirt race, and... The cross country race, so we're going to do all these ones up here. Uh, so that was the cross country, so we'll be doing that one in a second. But first things first, we slow down, you big boy. We'll do the road race. Um, going to here. Let's create one, shall we? Uh, I don't know what this one is in, actually. Let's have a look. Is it in you? Let's find out. 
Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Currently, we'll drop it down to two laps and makes it easier, makes it more fun for the um, weather. We'll have uh, sunset, no, uh, early, early afternoon. Heavy rain, yeah, we've got to get some uh, heavy rain um, fixed. Any class, let's go. Uh, should we call this? Well, we'll just carry on. And there she is, the Gurkha. Um, the Dominator 5. I have changed my uh, costume, my outfit and my <laughs> character, but I just, well, I unlocked it, so why not? As you can see on the front there, it's definitely got two um, springs on it instead of one. Uh, it's probably because it's so heavy and it's so, um, well, it's pretty much heavy armoured plating on it, so we should be alright if we hit by a storm, but as you can see, the weather is really kicking up now. So here we go, boys and girls with the Dominator. And a bit slow off the start, as usual. I've got the 6x6 six six behind me. But apart from that, we are on the way. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I hit the Mercedes out of the way. There's the Ford Raptor on the inside of me. And this thing doesn't want to turn properly. Oops. Let's get more of the in-car camera. Here we go, 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 go! So yeah, so hopefully you all have a smashing day, and uh, hopefully you are enjoying the videos that I've been uploading. <laughs> We've got a rear view uh, camera instead of a rear view mirror, which is quite cool. Uh, break! Oh, she's sliding a little bit, but apart from that, she handles pretty well, to be fair. Uh, there we go. Go, 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 go. She's a wee bit heavy, but that's because of the armoured plating and everything on it. I was probably just repeating myself, but I do apologise if I do repeat myself. I've got a habit of doing that. But, literally, to be fair, she's not handling... Not doing too bad in... Uh... There we go. Nicely done. Might have to give her a wee bit more acceleration, but apart from that, we are not actually doing too bad. So if we, if we make up some more ground, get on the inside of this ranger. Another ranger there, we're on the inside of him. Thank you very much there, sir. Hey, come on, baby. Oh, this thing is so heavy, it's just not able to catch up, but he's got some good speed on this, though. Whoops, bit of a tap there. Up, 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 up. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> go, 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 go. I would actually see the uh, Reed Timmer and the Storm Chasers um, actually use this vehicle, actually, to be fair. So this is the ultimate Storm Chasing vehicle. As you can see, we're in a bit of rain. We're in second place. Not too bad for the old, uh, I forgot it's called now, but <laughs> the Gurkha, sorry, <laughs> I don't remember what it was then. Not bad for the old girl. Well done there with the uh, Dodge Ram there. <laughs> 170, wow. As you can tell, I'll be playing this game quite a lot in my spare time. Obviously to uh, unlock my cars and to show it off to you guys. <coughs> hence why I got the Gurkha. And hence why I got a lot of money compared to where uh, I had last time in the last video. Um, but first things first, we'll need to turn this bad boy around. <sighs> Let me just quickly adjust the... Tune in for a second. Because uh, the tuning seems to be a bit off again. Okay, yeah. Um. Uh, 85 on the rear. See if that helps me a little bit. We'll put that at 65. 
Uh, put that one up at 80 for a second. Um, we'll skew up a little bit. Need a more acceleration for it to be fair in this thing. Uh, 5.3. There we go. That should work. There we go. That's better. Not to 15. Uh, five, four points something. So uh, that should help me out. So if we a little bit sluggish, a little bit. That's better. That's better. As you can see, we've got a lot more speed, a lot more acceleration now. So we are actually a lot. A little bit quicker. Ooh, break. Yeah, the brakes need to be sorted a little bit. We're going to create one off road. Do the same again. Um, settings. Jumps in two laps. Cloudy. Overcast. Light rain. Heavy rain. Fog. Uh, we'll do light rain for a change. Uh, we'll do early morning. And uh, we should be a okay. At the moment, I'm in A class. So if we make all the other guys uh, A class for a second, makes it fair then. So there we go, A class, A class cars. We are in the uh, the Dominator Five. Be -do 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 -do. Um, I took the design a little bit off the design. Obviously, there were stripes on the side from Dominator 4. Um, a pictures that I found on the um, Google. Um, yeah, I found some images on there, and I thought, you know what, I'll, uh, you know, kind of make it similar, but a bit different. As you can tell, it's uh, a little bit different compared to what they use. But I can actually see them buying one of these and using one. Not really, the raptor's going straight past me. Uh, drop it down again. Did I hit the checkpoint? Yeah, I did. Whew, I flew Nick, so I passed it then. A little bit of rain, got her. Here we go. Oh, bit of a bump there from the Raptor, but we are a-okay. To be fair, this domino is not too bad, to be fair. Oh, crap, that's going to... Oh, land. Very hard. The amount of weight I've got on this thing. Uh-oh. Oh, oh landed on top of a car. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, mate. I do apologise. Landed on top of a Ford Raptor. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen. Um, Jigsaw's in front of me with the Jeep, or oh, Mercedes, no, I mean the Mercedes actually, sorry. That Mercedes is quite quick to be fair. Yay, yo, oh, drop it down again. Let me know in the comments section below what um, engine I could put in this to make it a little bit quicker. Because at the moment it seems to be a lot sluggish. Very sluggish at the moment. I put the V8 in it, the racing one, and it's not the. It, it does the job, but now I think I might have to tune up the engine a little bit more. I might have to go in the uh, see if there's anyone else who's put a bot. I've done a tuning for this thing. Up. Oh. Raptor got stuck in the uh, the doorway there. But we've just jumped into third place. But to be fair, this is actually handling pretty good. The uh, Dominator 5. Third place for the Dominator. Very good. Very good for the Dominator. Third place, I'll take that. There we are in third place over there. Look, in my white um, jumpsuit. Overall, sorry, not jumpsuit. Uh, very good. Oh, third place. Not bad. I'll take that. Ooh, close. Close to unlock a super spin. Um, But then the last one, but not least, we are going to do a dirt. One. Ah, e go that way. Go across. Go across the fields for a second. 
Because the orange ones are the, the dirt ones. So we're on a dirt rally trial. Oh, okay, let's try it. Uh, yeah, it's already... It's already set for us, anyway. So we're gonna see what it's like. It's a legendary one, actually. I didn't know it was actually a legendary... Actually, no, we'll do it this way around. It's easier. Uh, A-class cast, please. Yeah, yep, clear. Weather. Cloudy. Cloudy with a post of rain, yeah. And A-class cars. Uh, early afternoon. There we go. Sorted. Let's go. And already you can see, it's already raining. And there she is, the Dominator. Here we go, it's going to open the doors for you guys. Just a sneak peek there, look, you can just see it up there. <laughs> it's how big it is. It's good that we put the side step on it because, yeah, you know, way I don't know how you're meant to get in. But here we go. With the Gurkha. I know some people don't like the Gurkha, but I quite like it with the uh, this design on it. And the Mercedes goes straight past me with a 6x6 right behind me. I right, says so I need to sort that differential out a bit more. Ah! Sorry, Corvette. Just pushed him straight into the wall. But we should be coming onto the dirt section in a second. I think I've played this one before. Oh, turn your bloody thing, turn your bloody thing. Oh god. Might have to put the front more the front dry front diff, sorry. Um to sort it to help it handle a little bit more. Because at the moment it's not handling as good. There we go. Drift it. Okay, it doesn't lo like that. It does not like it at all when you drift. But we're gonna give it a try. Best try that we can do. Got that checkpoint. Only just. I thought I was gonna miss it then. But off road, to be fair, this thing is actually pretty good. Um apart from the weight. Uh, that's the only downside of this thing. Sneak through. There we go. Saw the opening and went through him. There we go. And that's our better. There we go. Now we've got some speed. That's better. Now the Dominator is dominating everyone. <laughs> As uh, Reed Timmer would say, dominate, dominate, dominate. Ah, good done. Out, well. Yeah, it's the only downside. I need to get something to to help me turn the corners. I think you need to put a front splitter on or something. Um, to help it turn the corners. Because at the moment, it seems to be not turning very well. But for a storm chasing vehicle on uh, Fossil Horizon. Absolutely brilliant. I'll put the logo... The Dominator's logo on the storefront so you can take it off and use it for your own sake. So you can actually use it if you do get one of these. Hey, and now we're getting onto the bumpy section. This is where the Raptors are definitely going to be a lot better than me, but the weight should help me a little bit more than them. Let's get more of the in car camera. Nice. I've got the Hummer. Um. H1, I think it is? No, that's the Lamborghini, sorry. Is it the Lamborghini? I'm not too sure. Soon find out. Whoa, excuse me. Oh, I'm pushing him. I might get the Lambo as well to do a uh, another Dominator one. Oh, he's going to be in the lead. Oh, right in second place, though. That is not bad for the uh, Dominator. Five. Oh, it was a Lambo. Ah, okay. Might have to buy one of them. Actually, it's quite nice. <laughs> wakey, mate. Wakey, wakey. To fall asleep. 
If you want to see another Dominator, please hit that like button because that's why I'm doing these videos. Because I like to do, you know, storm chasing vehicles, as you can tell. Um, and this one was actually quite good, to be fair. Was, um, yeah, we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. But we're going to have a just a mooch around. There we go. There was a dirt road over it. Oh, it's closed. Open says me. <laughs> it's now open. <laughs> ah, it's a little um, housing over there. We'll park it over here. Uh, whoops. Didn't realise that was a road over there. Turn your bloody thing. Turn your bloody thing. There we go. Oh, some nice houses here. Uh, I might pack in the other one over here. Do the house in. Oh, that was just a boot. Sorry. Ah, it's actually a, a, uh, um, a pub, so we're going to park it next to this van. Uh, there we go, and then we'll get a nice angle on this. Oh, there's a storm over there, so I'll park it over here. Actually, yeah, we'll park it over here where there's a bit of cloud. Done. Right, so now I'm going to give you guys a nice screenshot of this bad boy. But yes, if you did like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell. But from Team Smudge Racing Gaming, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget to have a smashing day. Bye.